Hey Capricorns and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel Capricorn, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. All right, Capricorn. So we are just doing general readings for you for the month of February. Also for Valentine's Day, I think I'm going to post, um, I think I'm just going to go live and do like a lover special. All right, so all the lovers can come into the live, ask their questions. Um, regarding their connections, is this my soulmate? Is this my twin flame? Okay, so hit the notification bell so you can no be notified when I go live. Okay, <sighs> let's see. And I will be going live again tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Central Time. So please be there, Cappies. All right, Capricorns, I hope all is well with you, and welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope this reading resonates for you. Please let me know down in the comment section below. Because if I don't see a comment, then I don't know if the reading is resonating. Okay? So let's do what we do. Also, please do check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as they do play a contributing factor. Okay? The reading may not may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn. So please do keep that in mind. Um, so please show me the messages for the sign of Capricorn. Okay? Sun, moon, rising. And Venus. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Capricorn. <laughs> Y'all woke up in beast mode. Queen of Swords, y'all know she don't take no shit, Capricorn, at all. Queen of Swords, cut it, cut it, whoop, cut it, cut it. Your price is way too high, you need to cut it. The Queen of Swords will cut it in a heartbeat. Okay, Capricorn. Let me stop playing. <laughs> Sometimes, y'all, I get silly at night. Okay. Ooh, Ada, so look, Capricorn. Look at all these swords. What, what is going on with y'all? You got the queen of swords, the eight of swords. What's all this air energy? That's my energy. That's my job, okay? I'm the Aquarius. All right, Caps. Capricorn. Capricorn. What are you, what are these self-sabotaging thoughts here with the eight of swords? What are you feeling? What are you being so hard on yourself about? Quit being hard on yourself, Capricorn. Okay, Spirit's telling me that um, you're cutting out something. Whatever it is, you see very clearly that you don't want it. And you, you may be being a little straightforward with somebody. Telling them like it is. Somebody, you know what? I feel like this is somebody else because I, I don't see this being you, Capricorn. I really don't. I don't feel like this is you. This could be somebody else that you're trying to like cut it off because they, they like to play the victim a lot is what I'm feeling, Capricorn. Let me know if this is resonating for you, please. They like to play the victim a lot. Woe is me. I just can't do this. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to get this done or take care of this situation. You know, I'm... I'm still stuck with my baby mama. I really love you, but I just don't know how this is going to work. All the excuses. Cut it. Okay, just cut it. I feel like this person wants to reconcile with you. This is a judgment card, and this is typically about reconciliation. So this could definitely be an ex, Capricorn. Just warning you, okay? But this person doesn't have faith. They don't have the self-confidence. They lack it. The Eight of Swords energy is a very lack, low vibrational energy. And I don't like it. I don't like it, Capricorn. I don't like their attitude. Okay, I don't like it. So be aware of someone coming to you in that energy. Now, it does seem like they, they have come to an awakening, right? That, you know, that's what the judgment card is about. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, I feel like they, they have come to a realization. They came to a realization. And they hope you can take it. All right, so... King of Cups. Ooh, okay. This is a masculine energy, Capricorn, okay? Just saying. King of Cups, very masculine energy, very mature energy, knows what they want, very emotionally stable, emotionally mature, 
this individual has a lot of love for you, Capricorn. A lot. 21 Savage. A lot. How many chances you got? A lot. That's what this person got here, okay? A lot of love for you. And they want to come and express it, okay? Moving on, Capricorn. Moving on. So what other messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Uh, the moon. The moon. But you're afraid, Capricorn. You are afraid. There's some things that you feel like maybe this person is hiding from you because maybe they've hidden things from you in the past. And you're kind of afraid to go forward because of it. It could definitely be a block in this connection. Some more spirit. Yeah, you're not moving. You're not saying a thing, a damn thing to this person. You look at her sitting there like, please do I do I look like I'm saying something to you? No. Okay. Capricorn, I feel like you're waiting it out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I feel like that, but I feel like you're looking at them like, boy bye. Really? Why are you coming back? Because before you were you were in this Piscean energy of not being truthful and forthcoming with me. And I just, I'm out with the shits. Look, Queen of Swords, I will cut you off really fast. So don't come to me. Get out of here with that buggery. Treat my girls like property. Like them like Monopoly. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But you guys have a really strong connection. This could be definitely be a twin flame, Capricorn. This is my twin flame card in this deck, just so you know. But there's a very strong connection between you and this person. Definitely could be your twin. And I feel like you two could be marrying one another. Like you're not talking. They're not really talking. But they do have a lot of feelings for you. And I feel like they're not talking because of the Eight of Swords energy. It's a very woe is me, pitiful, um, low vibrational, lack mentality type of energy. It's almost like the Five Pentacle energy. And then we have the Four of Cups. Okay. This person, um, they, that's what they come to a realization about. They realize the connection they have with you. They realize that they took you for granted before Capricorn. They did. They realize that now. They've been thinking about it. And they. I feel like they're sorry. They are sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? That's how your person is feeling, Capricorn. Because I'm missing more than your body. Let's see. There's the Empress. They see you as the empress, somebody that, that they could grow with. You know what I mean? They could have something stable with. Very um, productive relationship, they feel. Yeah, they want to manifest a new, a new beginning with you. That's what they're telling you. With the magician and the empress next to each other, they're wanting to manifest this connection again with you because they realize, like I said, they came to a realization that you're the one. They realize that. They, they realize you're the right one for them. Now, whether or not they're going to make that decision to come forward is up to them, Capricorn. But we shall see, right? You're the one that they dream about all day. Let's see. Yeah, look. They're, not, they're planning on coming towards you. Ooh, they're planning on coming towards you, Capricorn. I see it. Yep, they yep, they got plans to collaborate. They want to talk to you about some things. They're ready to build. They're ready to collaborate with the three of pentacles. All right. Be ready, Capricorn. Be ready, because here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, Capricorn. Yep, they want success with you. Victory. Six of Wands. I feel like <laughs> I don't know why. Whitney Houston. Oh, with somebody how to be the hit with somebody i don't know why that song is coming to my mind but that's what it's making me think of yeah because you bring them emotional fulfillment yeah oh my goodness i love it capricorn i love this energy <laughs> i love this energy that y'all that y'all are giving me tonight i don't know what you and your person got going on yeah, you walked away. You walked away from this person in the past, Capricorn, because you were just so hurt that things were not going um, the way that you really wanted it to go. Maybe this person wasn't as serious as you were about the connection previously, but now they're wanting to um, make things right with you and make amends. All right, Capricorn. 
So what's the advice, spirit? Let's find out from the romance angels and see Capricorn. What's the advice? Let's see. Getting to know each other. Ooh, I love it. It's almost like Capricorn, you know, sometimes, you know, look, those moments, those days you have when you go into work and you're like, you know where skirt, let me just start back over. Can we just rewind this day and I can come back in and replay this role? Because the way this started off, I'm feeling some type of way, okay? That's kind of how this relationship is. It's like, you guys have history, right? You guys got history, history. You cut it off. You walked away. You were like, I'm done, okay? I'm done. But now this person has come to a realization. They've had some time to really think about things. They want to express how they feel. They want to apologize. Okay, because they know, they know, and they're really in their head about it with the Eight of Swords energy because you, you set them straight, Capricorn, with the Queen of Swords here. You told them, I'm not putting up with your blah, 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 blah. Okay, y'all fill in the blanks. But yeah, you walked away. You walked away. They got in their feelings. They got depressed because they really miss being with you. They really want to be with you. They have so much love for you with the King of Cups. And they want to reconcile with the judgment card. So they come to an awakening. They realize their part, the part that they played in um, in the uh, the fall of their connection. Okay. So what's the advice for Capricorn? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Capricorn. I'm not playing no more. Reconciliation. Damn it. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Capricorn. I know y'all don't want to be hearing it, but I'm just saying, though. Why? 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 <laughs> Ooh, it says stay optimistic about your love life. Beautiful. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. See, there it is, Capricorn. Let spirit do their work, please. Let them do their work. They want to bring y'all together, Capricorn. But, I mean, ultimately, you have to decide, you know, if this person is worth being in your space, if they're worth your time, your energy. I mean, it's up to you, Capricorn, what you want to do. What you want to do. So, that's been your February reading, Capricorn. Please join me live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Comment down in the comment section below to let me know if this resonates with you, okay? And hit that like button. Until next time, Capricorn.